Hello out there fellow engineers. We are back with another video on pressurized pipe flow. And today we're actually talking not so much about pipe flow itself, but a topic that comes up often in pipe flow, which is fluid jets. So we're going to jump right into it this time. Hold on one second and move my mic just a little bit. All right. So when we have a jet, and in this case, we have some kind of a nozzle or a bottle. It's spraying some kind of fluid up into the air. Now, obviously, this has been released to the atmosphere. It's no longer contained in any kind of a pipe or any kind of structure. Uh, so we want to, in this case, we want to find out what would be the velocity at this point one here. Okay, so let's do what we always do and start off with our energy equation. So our energy equation, we're going to define it at points one and two. So we have the pressure at one over the specific weight. We have the elevation at point one. We have the velocity at point one squared over two G. Uh, and that's going to be equal to our pressure at point two, our elevation at point two, and our velocity at point two as well. And typically you also include head loss and maybe even fluid work. Um, in this case, because this is not in a pipe, there is not going to be any head loss, right? You're not going to have friction when it's just flowing through the atmosphere, or at least if you do, it's so negligible that we can neglect it. Okay, so I, I, I probably say this in every one of my um, fluid flow, or especially pipe flow type of um, videos or and certainly in my classes that the, the biggest thing we almost always use the energy equation right you can pretty much grab that one out of your back pocket right away every time we're going to use it the question though is how do we apply it to this particular situation and uh, um, free jets or fluid jets are a type of particular example that we need to know certain things about or we just can't even really get started on this. So let's let's take a look first of all at the elevations, okay? So what is gonna be the elevation at one? Well, it, it actually doesn't really matter, right? Let's just say the elevation at point one is zero, and then we know the elevation at point two is 100. Although it doesn't really matter, it just matters that one is 100 more than the other, right? We're given that information. What about the pressure? What would be the pressure at point one? Well, that's the thing about free jets is that they are always at atmospheric pressure. And it's, it gets a little bit complicated or confusing, but basically um, you don't really need to worry about pressure at free jets because they're open to the atmosphere. There's nothing, there's no pipe to, to contain that pressure, right? And in this case, whatever the pressure is, at one, this atmospheric pressure, it's also going to be atmospheric pressure at point two, or whatever it was, there's nothing that's going to change the pressures, right? So the pressures are going to be the same. So P1 minus P2 is going to be zero. Um, okay, so let's write some of these down. We basically have um, P1 minus P2, we have uh, V1, V2, so we're, we're looking for V1, right? That's actually what we want to find. Let's just go ahead and say that V1 uh, squared over 2G is going to be equal to essentially um, the changes in elevation, right? Because we don't really have anything left. So we have Z2 minus Z1 is going to be 100 feet, right? So V1 squared over 2G is going to be equal to 100 feet. So we can actually fix this or, you know, solve this and say that V1 is going to be the square root of 100 foot um, times 2G, right? And that'll give us some answer in feet. I didn't actually solve it. I don't know exactly what it is, but that's the process for saving one, or not saving, for solving one of these free jet type of problems. Um, essentially, we are just solving it 
purely based on what the change in elevation is because, and I think I actually forgot to mention this, sorry, what is the velocity at point two? Well, any time with engineering, when something goes straight up into the air to the point where it stops, that exact instant where it has stopped and begins to fall back to, towards the earth, we consider that to, the velocity to be zero. So V2 at point two is equal to zero. And we use that almost any time we have something go straight up into the air. That's just kind of a given that at that very highest point, um, that velocity for just an instant is zero. Okay, well, if you have any questions on that, please put them in the comments below. I think I covered everything I wanted to today. So we're trying to pump out some really quick, short examples, get some videos out there on this pressurized pipe flow stuff. So if you're interested in that, if you like what we're doing, as always, we do definitely appreciate likes. They obviously help with our, you know, getting our, our studio out there, our channel out there but it also helps us know that you guys are liking what we're doing. So thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one.